Florida history teachers candid, honest, and not holding back about what they think of Florida's new social studies curriculum and how they plan to teach it in the classroom. As investigative reporter Katie Legrone shows us, it comes as the standards remain mired in controversy. I teach 10th and 11th grade history. I teach early U.S. history, so it's 8th grade. <laughs> They are among Florida history teachers caught in the middle of teaching America's complicated past amid the state's increasingly combative politics of today. History is our story, and it's ugly. David Calhoun has been teaching in Hillsborough County for more than 20 years. He's got a problem teaching the state's newest standards. It's not the truth. So it's inaccurate? It's, it's very inaccurate. Florida's newly approved high school curriculum includes instruction on how violence was perpetrated against and by African Americans during some high profile race massacres, including the 1920 Ocoee massacre near Orlando, when a black man trying to vote was attacked by a white mob. Calhoun says the state's new guidelines suggesting black people contributed to the bloodshed at the time distort the facts since they were forced to defend themselves. As a result, he says the new benchmark won't show up in his class. We're going to teach the truth, and the tr that standard is not the truth. Now, we're not going to stand in class and say, hey, the state school board got this wrong. We just will simply just not talk about it. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. I'm going to make sure that I teach factual, accurate history. Which means Sam Jenkins, a middle school history teacher in Brevard County, may also end up ignoring some of the state's new guidelines, which include teaching his students how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. The wording is a, is a big problem for me. We're going to have those discussions. We're going to talk about the jobs that they had. We're going to talk about how s certain slaves had particular skill sets, but we'll do it in a way that we've always done, which is more accurate, which is factual, and we're going to kind of leave the rest out. The truth is not a lie. Across the state, Florida's new African-American history standards have prompted outrage among Democrats. We believe in you. We believe in the people of Florida. That's my teaching certificate. Rallies and protests among some citizens and teachers. The National Council for History Education released a statement condemning the state's new standards while supporting history teachers who may be too afraid to speak up. Teachers are not in agreement with a lot of these standards, but they're fearful that if they speak out against these standards that they might lose their position. And in Miami Thursday night, a community town hall resulted in a no-show by Florida's Education Commissioner Manny Diaz who claimed he was too busy visiting schools to attend the 7 p.m. forum, but he's defended the standards. If anyone takes the time to actually look at the standards, you can see that everything is covered. It's kind of highly offensive. Still, teachers voice their concerns over the new standards and their plans to teach or not teach them. I have to be extremely careful with what I say, how I say it. Um, I have to be careful with how my students question and, you know, to direct their way of thinking and then with parents as well. So it kind of puts me in a, a really crazy situation right now. This new curriculum is not being fully implemented until next year, leaving districts more time to figure out what teachers can and can't say without breaking state law. I'm Katie Legrone for the Florida 24 Network.